there, this is Tiffany from iHeartArtBlog.com and I wanted to show you this fun mixed media pen using Lawn Fawn Chevron Backdrop Stamps. And we're also going to be using Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft Products, the Art Grip Aquarelle Watercolors, the Pitt Metallic Pens, and the Stamper's Big Brush Pen. You can also use a mister or a water brush some lawn fawn trimmings, some various buttons, and then some die cut canvas shapes. I'm going to clear this aside. So we're going to use the Sizzix Flowers 3D Number no. 2 Bigs die with some canvas, and this is Donna Downey's canvas. And basically you just fold it three times or twice and then stick the corners right in the corners of the die and then you use two standard cutting pads and run it through and you will get these beautifully cut shapes. So for the last shape I basically just cut a rough circle. Now on the base shape or the biggest circle die we're going to use the thickest chevron stamp from Chevron Backdrops. Stick it onto your clear block and then using the Stamper's Big Brush Pen in Cobalt Green, you just apply the ink with the broad side of the marker onto the stamp, and then you can stamp it off. The awesome thing about this ink is that it is permanent once it's dry, it's light fast, and it's odorless. So you can build layers with other mediums using this ink and it works beautifully with the canvas. So once you're finished, you can just set that aside and let that hang out. We're going to move on to the middle and you want to moisten this to get started because we're going to be using the Art Grip Aquarelle watercolor pencils. So you can use your water brush or a spritzer to make it damp. And then you can draw a polka dot pattern with the Art Grip Aquarelle watercolor pencil and you should see the pigment slide on really nicely. And this pigment is permanent once it's dry so make sure you work with your damp canvas. Again it's light fast and these are awesome to sharpen because they never break. Then you use your Pitt Metallic Pen also light fast and permanent once it's dry and you just outline each polka dot. It's that easy. You can see there's no messy running drips of whatever. So on the third final piece we're going to use the thin chevron stamp. You just run your stamper's big brush pen across using the broadside. You can also see that you can get various generations from the stamp. You can get up to four. See that stamps really nicely. So now you have your three layers ready and you are ready to make the pin. So here are the supplies that you'll need and I'll list them at the end of the video, but you'll definitely want a glue gun, some felt backing, a pin badge and various buttons and badges for embellishing. And I'm gonna fold each layer. So starting with the biggest, I'm gonna sort of fold and crumple it and add my glue and then I'm going to add the crumpled middle layer and then the final crumpled smaller layer. I'm going to adhere the felt circle backing with the glue gun as well, as well as the badge. So now you're ready to embellish. And I'm going to use my Lawn Fawn pin and some buttons and twine and a brad that I flattened using my hot glue. And there you go. Thanks for Thanks for watching.